filming it, and we're we're laughing down so the CG, the, and, you know, the general Chicago, all that, they can all watch everything when they're doing a war game and everything. Without you giving away any secrets, right. I don't want you. But I assume is it. Are we going to go into space? Are we going to have a space force? Or do we already have cameras in space that can go ahead and... We already have cameras there. Yeah. They got cameras up there on those satellites that you can stand here and smoke a cigarette. They can tell you what kind it is. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. That's, I've heard that. I mean, that's pretty That's pretty much public knowledge now. Yeah. But hearing it from professionals always is nice. Oh, yeah. They, uh, yeah. they can they tune that stuff in. All they got to do is, is give them the great coordinates. They can hone in on it. And like me and you sitting there talking, they can read that right there over here. Which brings me to this. When they, when let's say there's a crime that happens and they start searching for the guy, they can't find him. That only tells you, if I'm hearing this, what I'm hearing then is they can't find him because they don't want him to be found. Yeah, that's not their priority. Their, their priority, seems like today all their priority is trying to get, get crap on Trump. That's it. You know, or, you know, feed in on something that makes the Republican Party look Yeah, bad. but that's the deep state doing that, yeah. isn't it? I mean, that's not, you know, from the military I speak to. They're behind this guy. They, oh, yeah. You know. Yeah. And then it, the only time it gets really corrupt is maybe when it gets into the generals. The military in general, probably 90, 95 percent of them back in. Yeah. That's on. He, he's building up the military, he's giving more money to, to spend on the military so they can get the equipment and the training that they need, where all they, the Obama and Clinton and all that, all they did was cut funds where it was bare bones. Now one of the things he said in his inaugural, he says, I'm going to unleash the hidden technologies. There, there is a bunch of that. There is a bunch of that as far as, like, surveillance equipment, um, even weapons like laser technology and stuff like that. You know, there's there's tons of that stuff out there. But they just, they're not, they didn't, Obama and them, they didn't push it. They didn't push the, the they didn't put the funding in to, it was there. They didn't put the funding in to manufacture it. They put money into developing it. But then once it was developed, they cut off the funding, and there it was. Now, now, one of the things that is a kind of crossover that's worrisome is the, with the communication networks, the, you know, with the satellite and the internet and everything being kind of blended into one another, the 5G that's coming out that's going to... Uh, basically connect everything into the grid. Yeah. I mean, it's a two-sided sword right there. I mean, it has the ability to make life easy, but at the same time, we're so, I mean, if you get cut off from the grid, you become a non-person, as it were. You know, you oh, can yeah, really be... you're relying on it completely. You're relying on it. But who's controlling that? I mean, who's gonna wind up controlling that? Because right now you have Silicon Valley you know, that has a, they've been controlling a large portion of the uh, the system right. itself. And they're even doing the who can be on and who can be off. Yep, they're starting to censor that stuff. And I think it's the way I see it going with the cyber technology that they use out there, the cyber warfare that they use in their training and stuff like that. They're using it as a tool to monitor that everything that everybody's doing. So the military, even though they're not an owner of it, they are using it for their benefit. And you see them in that cyber, uh, you know, because they have a section when we're doing that training, it's a cyber warfare section. And they're basically, everything on social media, anything that's out there, they're sitting there and they're, they're monitoring it and picking up these key words to where you walking down the street, they hear you, you know, because they can tap into the street cameras, they can, you know, anything they want to. Now, with all that information, how, when they're farming it, of course, like they're picking up key words, are there still, are they trying to narrow it down to the point where we can 
you know, the way control, because obviously if they, they can't go out there, and, it's, it's too much information, right. like it's an overwhelming amount of information. Right. And if I were to say something like, you know, like keywords like here, like bomb, whatever they mean, they'd pick up on that. Oh, yeah. Uh, assassination or something like that, they'd pick up on that. Now, just me saying that now, they'll farm it. Who's, who's here to farm? How's the, how are they going to decipher that I'm just out here giving an explanation on that? And not actually planning a, an assassination. You know, what deciphers that? What is that going to be? AI technology? Does that come down to a field officer? I think what it's is a combination it? of both. You think? Yeah, I think yeah. it's a combination of both because you know, they take that algorithm that, that picks that up, and then they'll look at other conversations that you've had that's been picked up. Is there anything to match up to that? Or is there anything to give them to go forward on? And in that case, then they would send it over to a caseworker. But isn't all this to begin with an infringement on illegal? Oh yeah. To begin with, I mean, now we're just accepting it. Yeah. You're sitting here telling me this exists. We yeah. know this exists, and we're just kind of going, yeah, this is what's happening, and you know, and yet it's a direct violation. Oh yeah. Of, it is. Uh, of your privacy. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's no doubt about it. But they don't. They don't care. And the bad thing about it is now with the uh, idiots that you have out there. It's kind of like, okay, do I want to be safe or do I want privacy? Which one do I want? Which, you know, that old adage. Yeah. Yeah. All right, if you stand on that side of Donald, just don't show this one to the grandkids. You get you kicked off of Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now you stand right there. I'm going to get the two of you just with Donald. Oh, okay. okay. All right? Right there. Stand right in between them. I don't want her in there with you. Come on. Yeah. Okay, I assume that that's it. just hit there. What am I doing there? I hate these damn things. Yeah, so all the technology we're talking about, all this, this, this shit drives me crazy. Yeah, uh, so sensitive. Not to mention, it's just you know, recording everything we're doing. Okay, great. All right. Thank you so much. It was nice talking to you. Did I give you a get out of jail free card from Hillary Clinton? No, you did not. Yeah, this is good for any crime in the world. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Sir, I appreciate it very oh, much. Oh, it's a pleasure. It Thank you. Nice Have a nice you. talking to you guys. Well, that was interesting. Take the rest of the day off. Sure. With pay.